didn't use a toilet seat cover in that public restroom, you may regret it. Hi guys, Crystal here for DNews. Are you afraid of contracting a terrible disease from using a public restroom? How dirty are those toilets really? And how useful are those annoying paper covers that always tear and then fall into the bowl after you've set them down anyway? Well, according to modern science, those paper covers don't actually do very much. Concern over the possibility of contracting disease from public restrooms has been around for over a hundred years. U.S. patents for sanitation covers for latrine seats date back as far as 1911. We know bathrooms and kitchens are a hotbed of bacteria and other microorganisms due to the abundance of moisture and nutrients. Toilet seats are known hangouts for disease agents like E. coli, strep and staphylococcus bacteria, and the common cold virus. But studies have shown that the toilet bowl isn't the worst offender when it comes to germs. By the way, I will never eat off of anything touched by a kitchen sponge again. Also, unless you have an open sore or other breach in the protective body casing that is your skin, the chance of disease transmission through toilet seat use is really slim. People have gotten their knickers in a bunch over the safety of toilet seats, when a few cases of sexually transmitted diseases cropped up in individuals who claimed they could not possibly have contracted that infection in the usual manner. Dirty toilet seats were blamed, but scientists have repeatedly refuted this conclusion on the grounds that the infectious agents are not viable for long outside a host's body, and transmission requires direct contact with mucosal membranes. Actually, according to a paper in the Journal of Applied and Environmental Microbiology, you are far more likely to get sick by breathing the aerosolized bacteria and water droplets from your flesh than you are from copying a squat. There is a psychological factor at work here though. For some people, the act of using a disposable seat cover just makes them feel safer, and that's hard to argue with. But if you're looking for habits more conducive to disease prevention than using a toilet seat cover, wash your hands with soap and water. Yep, that's it. That is the best way to avoid getting sick from the use of a public restroom. Wash your hands. Also, when possible, close the toilet seat cover before you flush, or at least don't stand with your face over the toilet when you do. So what have we learned? Toilets are not the worst offenders of disease transmission, and nature has once again beat out man in efficient engineering of sanitary barriers through the evolution of skin. So let us know what you think. Are toilet seat covers a wasteful American phenomenon or necessary precaution? Subscribe to DNews and let us know in the comments. Also, check out this video where I list my five favorite things about pee. Some people born with the genetic inability to metabolize branched amino acids suffer from maple syrup urine disorder. This disease is rare, but easily recognizable by pee that smells like pancakes. Thanks for watching.